Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Bloody Hollow Fest. Now, it's March right now, but we have to get into the Halloween spirit because apparently our friends want to do some kind of Halloween theme party. We're about to see how messed up it actually gets right now. If you guys cool, day down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Hello, this is Jay speaking. How may I take your call? Who is it? It's me, Jeff. You were supposed to be at the camp hours ago. Oh, shit. Sorry, Jeff, I overslept again. I knew it. Todd, did you hear that? Pay up my 20 bucks. I won the bet. You bet that I would oversleep? Relax. You get 50%. By the way, since I knew this would happen, I told Tyler an hour ago to pick you up at the bus stop. You know, the one near your house. Well, thanks, Jeff. I better grab my stuff and not keep Tyler waiting. Hey, Todd, hand over that 20 bucks. That is the strangest way to leave your house ever. But I've never lived in a city like this, so I guess I have no clue what I'm talking about. But where do I go? Oh, is that the bus stop? Oh, there you go. That is where the bus stops. And I can't move. So this is Jump Scare City, everybody. This is Jump Scare City on your- ah! Thank you, random newspaper that fell from the sky! The police are investigating the disappearance of three young women in the last seven days. A resident in the area claims that on the night of one of the disappearances, he spotted a strange individual lurking around the vicinity of one of their homes. However, due to poor lighting in the area, he could not make a positive identification. The city is bewildered by these events. The authorities have advised residents to avoid going out after dark, secure doors and windows, and report any suspicious activity to their emergency hotline- Hey, what the- This dude is squatted down in front of me with a I mustache you a question looking facial hair with sunglasses at night and his pussy is looking at me in the eyes. Maya said, damn, what a scare. What are you doing alone here? Buses don't run this late. Could you get out of my face? Hmm. Has no one taught you to not approach people like that? Are you waiting for someone? It's none of your business. I'm waiting for a girl. On second thought, I think I've already found her. What are you talking about? I love walking at night. The silence. The city changes completely. Yes, officer. This man right over here. This guy, FBI. Dude, you're nuts. You are nuts. Now get your nuts out of my face. It's no time to read with that creepy guy hanging around. Yeah, with those tight-ass jeans. And that saggy-ass butt. And those size 4-ass feet. And that bald-ass head. I'm just kidding. About those size four feet, but they're actually size three feet. What are you doing pacing back and forth, dude? You're creeping me out. I bet you he was above this thing and he dropped down the newspaper. Like he dropped it down in front of me so I could read that thing. But I don't like the fact that this man is pacing back and forth. It's giving me the heaves and it's giving me the jeebs. All right, everybody? What? Oh, no. Hey, wait, come on. I was kidding. Relax. I was just kidding about all the shit I was saying. Come on, you're handsome. You're handsy. Okay. He could have got at least one good stab in, if we're being honest. I'm just saying. He had enough time. That car was going like four miles per hour. Are you my ride, Tyler? Hey, Maya. Who was that guy? I don't know, but he gave me the creeps. There are some really weird people around here. Come on, get in. And here we are. One more year. What's the plan? We gotta finish decorating the place with the Halloween stuff and get some of the games ready for tomorrow. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to get everything sorted. Go drop your stuff off at the cabin and meet us in the dining hall. Sure. You got it. Find your cabin and leave the backpack. Oh man, this is where I'm dying, everybody. In the middle of buttfuck nowhere. That's crazy. This is not my cabin. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry if I offend. This is not my cabin. And let me guess, this is not my cabin? That's not my cabin, everybody. Come on now. This is not my fuck. Okay. Which one's my cabin? Which one's the shagging cabin? It's this one. I know it is. That's not my cabin. Cool. That's cute. My cabin. I'm home. Home sweet home.
All right. So we have to meet with the others. What the heck is this? Oh, I thought that was hardcore drugs. I was like, I'm not about that life. Is that a noose? Bro! Are you freaking kidding me? This game was dark as shit, but I saw that noose from a mile away. Where's everybody? Hello? Mi amigos y mi amigas? Where are my friends at? Friends? Do I even have friends? Plot twist, I have no friends. There they are. Oh yeah, no awkward dancing without me in here. Hey Beth. Mile, you finally arrived. Come on, I have something to show you. Wait, I just got here, Beth. Maya, welcome. Todd, you're scaring me, buddy. Hey, Maya, dance a little. Why is Beth walking like she has to take a massive shit? Because that's what I do when I'm trying to hold in my shit and I'm squeezing my butt cheeks. How's life in your new city? Did you get the job you wanted? Yeah, though it turned out to be crap like every job I've had so far. Sometimes I think I should have stayed in town and continued with the family business. Maya working at her parents' bar for her whole life? No way. You've always been a rebel, but also the smartest among us. You just have to keep trying. You'll get what you're looking for in the end. You think so? I'm sure. What do you think? The fuck is that? Wow, is this what you had to show me? Yup, I'm wearing it tonight. Oh, it's the panties bra combo. Who's the lucky one? Jeff. You're dating Jeff? Shh, the others don't know yet. I don't want us to be the subject of the jokes tonight. Wow, just wow. Since when? Not long, just a week. Despite being a joker and seeming like a jerk at times, he's a romantic. Maya Beth, let's all gather by the fire and join us. Ready for our annual horror story session? I guess so. Let's go. I didn't know what she was showing me. I honestly thought she was showing me a brain that she found in the street or something. I was like, where the fuck did you find that? But where's my long ass stick in marshmallow? I want some of that. I want some of those mallows. All right, everyone's here. I'm sure you've all heard the counselor who lost his life in this very camp 20 years ago. His name was Derek. It all started as a prank by the other counselors on a night like this, also during the preparations for the Halloween party. The counselors thought it would be fun to play a prank on Derek, but first, they had to spook him, so they all gathered by the fire to tell a horror story, just like we're doing right now. One of the counselors told the story of the Pumpkin Killer. What a freaking name, everybody. I'm not scared of somebody named the Pumpkin Tits Killer. The Pumpkin Killer? Yeah, it's an old legend. My grandpa told me about it when I was a kid. Many years ago in the town, they found a witch and burned her alive. But before she died, the witch said that every year at midnight, Right at the beginning of October 31st, her spirit would return to seek revenge on everyone. It's said that the curse brings back a serial killer who can't be hurt or killed. His head is covered by a pumpkin, and no one has ever seen his face. After finishing the story, one of the girls started screaming, pointed towards the trees, and there he was, the pumpkin killer, holding a bloody axe. This bitch is too invested in the story right now. Everyone started screaming and running, but the killer was only after Derek, who ran to his cabin and locked himself in. One of the counselors cut the power and then, everyone surrounded the cabin, banging on the walls. Leave me alone, I haven't done anything, Derek shouted from inside the cabin. You could also hear him crying. Then, everything fell silent. After a few seconds, Derek's friends started laughing and shouting, It's a prank, Derek! You can come out, we're sorry! But Derek didn't answer or open the cabin door. Faced with the silence, the counselors started to worry, so they turned the power back on. One of the guys entered through one of the windows to find out what was happening. Derek was dead. The one who pretended to be the pumpkin killer was one of Derek's roommates. It seems that while he was picking out the axe for the prank, he left the others lying on the ground. Due to the panic and darkness, Derek tripped and fell headfirst onto the only axe whose edge was pointing upward. What a dumb fuck! His friends found him in a pool of blood with his head split in half. Then, damn, Tyler, not funny. I thought I was still reading it in the other guy's voice. It's hilarious, ha 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 ha. All right, enough of the stars. We need to get to work. Maya, there are still some decorations left to put up. Can you place some pumpkins at the entrance? I think there are still some in late cabin. Sure. Some in late cabin. I was invested in the story though. 
Look for the pumpkins and candles in the lakeside cabin. Aren't these all the lakeside cabins? Like, what are you on right now? Okay, lakeside cabin. Let me look for a one that doesn't look like a regular ass cabin. There's got to be like a, a small cabin within the cabins. Um, actually, I have no idea. You got me fucked up. Oh, wait. Um, is this it? Hold on. I mean, oh god. Oh dear. I'm not going in there. I'm glad you're with us again this year. That's it? That's all you have to say? What about you, Todd? Stop acting like you're doing something. That's me. Whenever there's a task, I just pretend I'm doing something and I would just pretend to be putting some pumpkins up for like the next 30 minutes and be like, man, I'm tired. When do we eat? Hey, I'm not one to cock block. But is this where the stuff is? This is where the stuff is. You two should head to your cabin. Oh, shit. We've been busted. Relax, Maya knows. What? You told her? You didn't have to tell me. I saw you two doing what you do. Maya's a good friend. She won't say anything. I'm a tomb. I'm a tomb? I, I guess I'm a tomb. Whatever the fuck that means. I guess that means I'm keeping my mouth shut. Come on, Jeff. You and I have something pending. Oh, Maya, could you do me a favor? What do you need? Jeff and I were supposed to go pick up the Halloween pinata and hang it in the gallows. Could you take care of it? I guess so. Where's it stored? In the workshop near the forbidden area. The forbidden area, everybody. We don't go there because it's forbidden. You mean the old workshop? Yes, they haven't started building the new one yet. Weren't they supposed to construct it this summer? That was the plan initially, but the other guys couldn't gather enough money. Oh, I see. All right, I'll handle the pinata once I'm done placing the pumpkins. Thanks. Now they are going to finish what they started. So let's grab the pumpkins. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? And the candles. I'm double fisting this. Maya must work out because I'm pretty sure this shit is not light. Well, what's around here, everybody? It doesn't make sense to get so far away. What? Maya, don't back sass me. I'm just journeying and doing my thing. Okay, it doesn't make sense to get so far away. All right. Calm down. Relax. Calmate. Relajate. Where do we put all this? By the entrance. There you go. It's stupid proof. Meaning, if I don't know where to put it, this game got my back like chiropractic. So, boom, bop, pow, wow, poppy. Poppy? Who's poppy? Nobody's calling anybody poppy. I'm the one getting called poppy. We're going to need that later. That's going to come in handy because I'm pretty sure it's going to get darker than the back of my gooch. And we're going to need a light. And we're going to remember, hey, we actually know where our lighter actually is. Does that make sense? Hey, we're going to know where our lighter actually is. Oh, God. Time to go pack and hang the piñata on the gallows. Yeah, definitely. Jeez. You know what? That jump scare was cheaper than this game's mom and stepmom and actual father and stepfather, but fuck. Gets me every time. Hang the piñata on the gallows. Wait. How come everybody went inside? The fuck? What's going on? Guys? What is... What are you... Bro! What the heck? Is this the gallows? What is going on? Hello? What in the actual fuck? How do I get in? How does one get inside the gallows? What is the gallows? I don't even know if that's the gallows. I just assumed that shit was the gallows. Is this a gallow? Oh, done. I think there's nothing more to do. I'll go see if they need help in the dining hall. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, that's the gallows. You should have just called that shit the noose and I would have known. Hey, Todd. What's up? Hey, Maya, grab a beer and join the party. Is this what you call a party? Where's Tyler? He said he was looking for you at the workshop, thought you got lost. He'll be back when he sees you're not here. Uh, I don't think that there's gonna be a back. We're not going back anywhere because we're dead as fuck. What's wrong with the lights? Do you know if the generator has fuel? What's wrong? I activated it this afternoon, but I forget to check the fuel level. Great! At least we have the pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins. What do we do now? Someone has to go to the generator. Here, take Tyler's lighter. What do you mean by take Tyler's lighter? Don't you plan on coming with me? 
Who, me? No way. I'm a little bitch, but I did. Oh, come on. What's that smell? It's the smell of you being a little pussy. Oh, I know. I think you've crapped yourself. You should change your pants or you'll attract all the flies around here. I like my version better. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at me laughing. Well, this freaking sucks. Thanks, Todd, for being a bitch. I mean, you're the guy. Oh! What is this game? I thought you got lost. Went to look for you. What happened to the lights? Todd forgot to check the fuel level of the generator. Typical of him. By the way, where is he? He stayed in the dining hall. He's too scared to go to the generator in this darkness. Hopeless, I'll go with you. Thanks. Wait, Todd's right behind me. Where are Jeff and Beth? Busy? Busy? I think they're still with the decorations. Games for tomorrow and all that. Oh, uh, well, I thought we were done. Apparently not. There should be gas in the workshop. Go ahead and check the generator. I'll be there soon. Go ahead and check the generator. I'll be there soon. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with these jump scares? I mean, this guy's just standing here, but what's going on here? Oh, you're Tyler? Oh, I thought you were Todd. Bro, you two need to wear different shirts. You all can't keep wearing blue. Like, come on now. Let's be freaking real. Tyler, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? The generator is broken. What do you mean? Someone cut the cables. Are you sure? Maybe a rat chewed on them. A rat? The cuts are clean. It couldn't have been a rat. Wait, I'm coming to see. Yeah, get that ass over here. What the fuck? Tyler, you okay? Tyler? Crap, what's happening? Tyler? Tyler was moaning like a wildebeest. Tyler? Why is there a thing here? Handprint, is that blood? Tyler, I hope this isn't one of your pranks or you're dead. I better go back to camp. Aw, oh, you gotta be freaking joking me. Okay. Well, handprints don't make themselves like that. So... God damn it. <laughs> I don't want to get jump scared again. Did they hang another pinata? Really, Maya? Be real. Be for real, Maya. Maya, be for real! God, Todd! Who could have done something like this? Damn, I deserve an Oscar for that. I have to find the others. Beth! Can I grab that? What is that? That looked like pliers. I might need that later, everybody. I might need that. Beth! Come on, Beth. Oh, Beth, open the door. Beth? I'm coming, damn it! Oh, shit, my bad. They were doing the mattress mambo. <laughs> oh, Beth, come on now. Maya, what's going on? I'm busy. We need to call the police. Someone has murdered Todd, and Tyler is missing. All right, Maya, I don't have time for jokes. It's not a joke. I'm telling you, Todd is dead. Someone killed him and hung him on that damn gallows. Fine, Maya, whatever you say. Now I have to get back inside and continue what I was doing. She riding that thing like the Pony Express. Jeff, are you okay? Jeff? Give me a second. Really? This is nuts. This is big squirrely hibernation nuts. Beth! Wait, what? I need something to cut that damn chain. The pliers. Yeah, buddy. Todd's not gonna need that anymore. <laughs> Beth! What the <laughs> fuck? Dude died with his ass all out? <laughs> Beth, we need to call the police. Jeff is dead. I know, and I'm sorry, but we need to tell someone or we'll be next. Beth, I need you to react. Fine, I'm sorry. Can you call the police? Yes, I will. On my cell phone, even though this shit is, what, the 1990s or whatever? Beth, what are you doing? What am I doing? What is anybody doing? Oh, the phone. The phone isn't working. I think someone cut the line. What about the phone in your cabin? I don't think it's a good idea. Whoever's doing all this must have destroyed all the phones. They don't want anyone leaving. What the hell do we do, Maya? The cars. Right, the damn cars. Where are the keys? I don't know. Tyler stored them somewhere. They could be in his cabin. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure of anything. <laughs> okay, I'll go check. I'm coming with you. I'm not staying in here. Maybe you should put more clothes on. I already knew something was gonna happen. God damn. That didn't even touch the top of your head. Bastard! Close that door. Got a screwdriver. Broken window. Thanks for the lift, Todd. Or what was your name? Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, your name was Tyler. I need a ladder to reach the window. Who the fuck was a ladder? Oh. Okay. That. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I had a feeling something was gonna happen. Because I couldn't even move. 
And then she was walking to the door a little too slow. So I was like, all right, she's about to get clapped. Where could Tyler have put the keys? Nothing here. Oh, great. No, not again. Nobody's home. Just a second. Fuck. Don't, why am I opening that? Close that. Nothing here. It seems like he's gone. Where the hell are those damn keys? The keys are not in this cabin. Think, Maya. Maybe I can cross the lake with one of the canoes. I think there are some houses on the other side. Maybe they can help me? Sure. Okay. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. So we have to go to the lakeside cabin. Whatever the hell that means. Where's the lakeside cabin? I think it's where I caught them making out. Yeah. Right over here. Okay, hopefully there's a canoe. Hopefully there's something I could do with that canoe. Right, everybody? Please. Hey! Whoa! Tyler, you're alive! I saw that bitch in the corner of my eye. Are you okay? Someone attacked me when I left the workshop, but I managed to escape. I think I have cuts all over my body. Where are the others? They're all dead. Beth, Jeff, Todd. This is a nightmare! Where are the canoes? I don't know. I ran here to get on one and cross the lake, but they weren't here. I don't understand what's happening. Damn it. We have to find a way out of this place. The camp gate is locked. The car keys are missing. Phones don't work. And the canoes are gone. How are we supposed to get out of here? Swim across the lake? The lake is too big to swim across. We'd freeze and drown before making it to the other side. Exactly. We have no way to escape. We're both going to die. But there has to be some way. Of course. Why didn't I think of it before? The Forbidden Zone! No, we can't go to the Forbidden Zone, guys. It's forbidden. What's there that can help us? Have you ever heard the story of the tunnel? What tunnel? What are you talking about? When I was a kid, my father told me that children from the camp started disappearing, but later they'd reappear. This went on for several days. One day, a counselor secretly followed them and discovered the kids had found an old tunnel hidden in the ground. Apparently, the tunnel led to the other side of the road. And do you know how to get to the tunnel? I only know it's in the forbidden zone, under one of the cabins, but I don't even know if the tunnel really exists. Maybe it was just a story. We don't seem to have many other options. We should go check if what you told us is true. Fine, let's get going. I hope you know how to get there. I could barely find the workshop. Don't worry, I know the way, but stay close to me. Thank God. I was getting tired of looking at that backdrop. It looked like King Kong's nuts. But why is Tyler walking so slow? My throat is hurting from doing all these voices. Actually, just the bros voices. The voice that sounds like this. It's actually hurting my throat. Oh, it makes me want to cough. <coughs> Can this guy move with a sense of urgency? Like, god damn, Tyler. What are you doing? What was that? Hello? Someone there? Shut up, idiot. What if it's the killer and he hears us? The killer? We better hurry. Let's go. What? Tyler, wait. Damn it, Tyler. Tyler, what the fuck? Oh my lordy, Tyler. Worst friend of the year award goes to this freaking guy, huh? Dude went from zero to 60 miles per hour real quick. Tyler! Where did Tyler go? What the fuck? I seriously have the worst friend group ever. This is nuts. This is my nuts. Oh, okay. What do I... Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? It's locked. I need to figure out the combination. What do you mean? I don't want to figure out the combination. You got me fucked up. Okay. I guess I'll figure out le combination. But I'm guessing I have to find a freaking piece of paper to do that, huh? Fuck. This is a fuck you up. Damn it, Tyler. Especially this freaking grass that is as tall as me. This is not it. One of these freaking houses is a jump scare. You could tell everybody. It's one of these freaking things. This is lit up. Why? Hold on. Inside is lit, but the door is closed. Tyler, are you in here? Tyler? Ty, my guy? Can I go into the back? I can't go into the back. Damn, man. All these cabins look the freaking same. What do you want me to do? I gotta look like on every table, under every freaking bunk bed. 
under every damn bug bite. A bug bite? I mean bed bug. Bug bite? What am I even on right now? Bug bite. I'll bug bite your dad. Wait, what? What does that even mean? Oh, wait. Here we go. 10-7-1969. Today marks one year since Jack's death. We all miss him and feel guilty, especially me. I'll never forgive myself for suggesting that prank. Maybe I should have told the police instead of claiming it was an accident. I can't stop having nightmares since it happened. Sometimes I think I shouldn't come back to this camp anymore. The longer I stay here, the worse the nightmares get. Tomorrow, I'm going to suggest moving it near the lake. I'm sure the others will agree with me. Today, I talked to the rest of the group about relocating the camp near the lake. Everyone thought it was a fantastic idea. So in September, we'll start preparing the ground and building the new cabins. This morning, my wife came to visit, and I got a pleasant surprise. When I saw she brought Maya with her, they're going to stay around for a couple of days. I'm sure both of them will have a great time. Wait, 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 wait. Who's this talking about us? Keep our name out your freaking mouth. This afternoon, Wayne tried to blow his head off. No one knew he brought a gun to camp. Spencer had been warning us for days that Wayne's behavior was strange. Clemmy he seemed depressed, so he's been keeping an eye on him. This afternoon, he saw Wayne wander a bit away from the camp and followed him without noticing. When he got far enough, Wayne pulled out the revolver, and he was lucky Spencer followed him. Thanks to him, he's still alive. We all gathered to talk to him to help him, but he needs more than our help he's also broken by jack's death feeling almost as guilty as i do dude literally wrote off the pages that's a skill a few minutes ago the guys and i decided to close the camp and not reopen it until we move it near the lake i think it'll be good for all of us to leave this place for a while i've stored the revolver in the safe in my cabin and notified the police to pick it up i told them i left the combination written on a laminated card inside the well bucket i don't think anyone will bother checking it the well bucket well, well, well. Well, well, well. Where's the well bucket? <laughs> Where's the well bucket? The well? I need something to retrieve the bucket. Maybe a hook like the one Todd used to hang the pumpkins. There might be one in the workshop. What the fuck? It already took me long as hell to get here. Now I gotta go back? I don't even know where back is. Like, everything looks the same. I'm assuming this is how I get back, right? Yeah, there we go. Now I know the campgrounds. This is my campgrounds now, everybody. I'm the killer. That's the plot twist. Is this it? This is the generator. Okay, this is it. This place right here. Whoa, what the fuck, man? I'm not gonna lie, everybody. You can't do that, though. Like, the guy was literally right there behind the door. And what am I supposed to do? Like, how am I supposed to know? I think I have to die at that point, right? And then you have to do, like, a trial and error type of thing. Because you can't just automatically go there and dodge that guy. He comes at you full freaking sprint, and there's nothing else you can do. So, what do I do? Do I just open the door and then just kind of back away slowly? I mean, I guess I could do that. Or, I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to open it from the side. And then wait. Right? Dude guy the fuck where'd he go he's right there what a bitch oh he's just camping like a little bitch boy i need that thing back there that thing's shining i need that come on hey bro this guy sucks come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on, come on. oh this is ridiculous i guess he lost interest he lost interest right away. That is freaking crazy. Let me just grab this. Oh, there he is. There you are. Okay. Give me that. And let's get the fuck out of here. Is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. I don't understand. His vision sucks. He needs to get on that 2020. This killer better not pop out of a random bush. My heart already maxed out on jump scares. Where is the well? What the fuck? Oh my goodness. That's what I hate when everything looks the freaking same. Come on. Oh, there you go. It is 6422. Okay, 6422. Where is the safe, though? It's not that one. Um, It was like one of the first ones, though. Right here? Yes. Okay. Got it. Cabin key? Looks like the key to one of the cabins. Oh. Okay. Okay. I know which one. How do I access the gun? How do I get the gun in my hands? I don't want this stupid ass key. 
I want to access one of the cabins. Someone's been in here. Yeah, and I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. Where you at? Oh, it's a note. Scary. Today marks... Wait, what did that say? Oh, it's from Tyler. Today marks 20 years since your death. I've been living all this time with a strong hatred in my heart, but finally, the day has come to let it all out, to avenge those who took you away from me and mom. I do this to honor your memory and mom's. She took her own life shortly after you left. Now, those who still survive will feel what I felt. When I snatch the lives of their children, their lives will be left in darkness just like mine was extinguished. With love, Tyler. You'll always be in my... Guys, girls, girls, guys, guys, girls. Hey, Maya. Surprise! I see you're at a loss for words. Did you know it was your father who ended my father's life? I've been waiting for this day for years, and it's finally here. They'll finally feel what I felt all these years, and my father can rest in peace. You're sick. I'm so sick that I'll chop you into pieces with this axe and send you home to your parents in a box. I'll love to see the looks on their faces when they see what's inside. You're insane. You're a damn psychopath. Am I the psychopath? Your father started all this. My mother took her own life after my father's death. I became an orphan, and I'm the psychopath? You've murdered your friends. They weren't guilty of anything. Of course not. It's not personal against you guys, but against your parents. Then kill my parents. Fuck you. Bro, really? Okay, let's get it. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah, the reveal. What a twist. All right. Fuck you, asshole. Dude, I ran right into your axe. Come on, how many fucking hits? How many hits? How many hits? What the fuck? Oh, thank you. Shot him so hard he disappeared. Goodness. Brittle floor? The part of the floor seems more fragile than the rest. Okay. I got your ox there, mate. Tunnel entrance? Why would I go there? Just, just go here. Just slide it. Just slide this shit like some DMs and just go. That's so dumb. Oh my freaking goodness. I don't want to go in the tunnels, man. I don't want to go in the tunnels, no. No. Oh God. Great. Love this. All right, everybody. Oh, what? What the heck? What does that mean? Stop playing. I, I don't. I don't like this. I don't like this. What's up with this music? This bass is tickling my balls. This bass is tickling my hello. Where do you think you're going? You won't be able to get out of here without the key I have in my pocket. What the fuck? He just disappears. Now I have to look for his ass. Do I really have to look for this bitch? Freaking joking. You know what? I'm gonna hide right here. Fuck you! Whew! Fuck! Where's this bitch? I've had enough. Are you fucker? Are you? Come here. Show me. Show me that ass. I hear you. Got him. Who? You thought shit was really sweet, Tyler? You thought shit was really sweet, Tyler? <laughs> Tyler, you're a little bitch. Wait, how did the tunnel lead to a road? I must have been walking for about 10 minutes. Oh, poor you, Maya. 10 whole minutes. I'm so sorry. Good thing it wasn't 11 minutes. Kidding me? 10 minutes? The fuck was that? Yeah, I thought my dog was making that noise. Because my dog sleeps under me under the table. Looks like a vehicle is coming. It's Tyler. It's Tyler Jr. It's somebody. It's somebody, son. That's not good. Somebody should not be coming down the road in the middle of the night like this. Who's that? I thought that car was going to run me over. I was ready to sue. I was ready to call my lawyer. I was ready to call 1-800-BETTER-CALL-SAUL. Thank God I need help. What's going on? Someone has murdered my friends. What? What are you talking about? Please, I need to speak to the police. 
Oh my god! Come on, get in the car! There's an intersection up ahead. This dude's a hidden character. He hasn't even been unlocked yet. When you get there, turn right, and about five kilometers away, there's a police station. Don't worry, I know the area. Thank you. This dude's gonna get unlocked in the DLC. What the fuck is this? This guy's bad news. What is that? What is that right there? Is that a gun? No, that's a... Oh, that's an e-brake. That's not an emergency brake. So, um... You live around here? Why are you down this road? Alright. Well, I'm gonna get jump scared. <laughs> I'm getting so jump scared. Great. Oh, boy. Yeah. Thanks for going 20 miles per hour, by the way. Yeah, the guy back there murdered my friends. But I guess we're just not gonna do anything about it, huh? What is that? To the city. Hey, make it right here. Yep. Uh, I, uh, oh, oh, thanks. Let me out. Let me out. What the fuck? Dude teased me. He bamboozled me. He just missed the intersection. I don't think he missed it. He full on stopped, laughed in your face, and kept going forward. Hey, I'm talking. Oh. <laughs> okay, if that's how the game ends If that's how the game ends I'll clap it up I'll clap it up I love it I love it Ended with that guy right there I like games like this, everybody I'm a fan of games like this Ones where we're not supposed to take it too seriously It's supposed to be just fun And it did scare me a couple times So, good job, Cubite Games This was Bloody Hollow Fest Let me know what you all thought about this game In the comment section down below but if you enjoyed me playing it, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!